Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, parents are voicing concerns about a plan to merge these du Duval County elementary schools. It feels extremely rushed. Um, there had been rumors in the community, but there was nothing solidified. The district is considering R.L. Brown Elementary School and R.V. Daniels Elementary School for the merger. You can see them here on this map. Yeah, and they're only four miles from each other, and each serves fewer than 200 children. News for Jacks reporter Ariel Schiller has a closer look at the plan and how supporters say it would improve the learning environment for students. Two elementary schools in Duval County are being considered for consolidation, R.V. Daniels and R.L. Brown. The district hosted the second of two meetings Thursday night at R.L. Brown to discuss consolidation with parents. Carissia Kimbrough is an R.V. Daniels parent. She feels parents were kept in the dark for most of the year and that the whole process is being rushed. In middle February, there's a, con there's a SAC meeting to discuss consolidation and it's like, wait a minute, school choice ends in two weeks. I had no plans on making any other decisions. I just assumed my third grader would continue to fourth grade. My kindergartner would start there. And it just felt like our choice was almost stripped away. If the board approves this plan, RV Daniels, which is the school behind me, will consolidate into this school behind me, RL Brown Elementary School, starting next school year. Duval County School Board Chair Daryl Willie says if the vote is approved, the two schools, which both have gifted programs, and are under enrolled will combine power and efforts. RL Brown is a B right now and the hope is like you take that B to an A. More students, increased resources, increased uh, full-time art, PE, those sorts of pieces and, and really just an elevation of academic outcomes. Willie says a decision hasn't been made on how they'll use RV Daniels if Tuesday's vote approves consolidation. He says that conversation will happen after the vote happens. We'll talk about whether that's greenscaping it, whether that's using it for a swing space of a school, but it's a space we want to make sure we take and are very intentional with because there's history with that school, uh, a lot of history. And we want to make sure we preserve that history, whether it's bringing some of that history here or preserving something in that space to make sure we acknowledge the history of uh, RV Daniels. What are you hoping after this meeting tonight that the board decides to do? I would love for the school to stay open, but I understand financially and fiscally and enrollment and the need for the consolidation to happen. I just hope that whatever decision is made, that the parents get a clear plan, that we get communication um, so that we can make the best decisions moving forward. In Jacksonville, Ariel Schiller, Channel 4, the local station. The school board will vote on the possible consolidation at the next board meeting. That's Tuesday. And if you want to learn more about the proposed merger, we have the presentation that was shown at tonight's meeting. It's on our website, newsforjax.com.